All right, I'm going to take you through how I did the uh, practice delegate functions uh, assignment. So the first thing I would do is um, write this sample program in uh, page 7 of 15 of the delegates um, curriculum. So page 4 of 4, which is the, the slide here, um, I wrote that same exact program in VB here. Um, and I'm going to run it, and you'll see what it does. Yeah, hello and hi. Right? So basically what it did was, I'm going to pull this over here. It called these functions down here. Function hi and function hello. And then printed them out. That's all it did. But this is the code that they used to call those functions. Um, using delegates. So I'm going to um, go ahead and edit this code that I've already written to do what we needed to do for the assignment. So I'm going to pause it and I'm going to walk you through it. All right. So the first assignment says um, delegates and string practice exercise. Now it's time to practice some code on your own. Write and compile a program to declare a delegate that can call a function. Your delegate should call three different functions. Submit your program. So basically all you do is that, uh, that this here, this one is an assign. This actually calls two functions, right? So all you've got to do is add a third one. So you would add one more of these. And then one more of these. We just have to call it something different. So, doomp, doomp. What do we want to call it? Let's say goodbye. So I'm going to say, I'll call it goodbye. And then we have to make sure that we do this. Goodbye. It's got to be the same name, spelled the same. I'm going to call it function goodbye. Oops, I forgot the FN. Okay. And then we want it to say, instead of hello, let's say goodbye. Ah, 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 ah. I clicked the wrong button. Sorry. Goodbye. Okay. Let's see where we are. Let's see if I messed anything up. I'm going to run it. There we go. We just added a third function call with a string. It's that simple. All right, so let's go on to the next one. All right, so now the next page of the delegates, it talks about normal function calling versus delegates to call a function. So this is normal function calling. So we're going to be using this, and you can just click on here. Right, you can get some more information, but basically what you're doing is you're creating a class um, and calling that class function. Anyways, so let's go to the assignment. Let's see what it says. Assignment says write a program with four procedures that accepts two integers and prints the results for all four basic arithmetic operations: addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Call each procedure pr twice in the program once directly by the procedure name and the next time by a delegate. Um, so it actually wants you to do it in a normal function and with a delegate. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and write something up and then we'll talk about it. All right, so I wrote this out for you. So I'm going to move this down for a minute. The first thing we talk about is the delegate function. So I've written the delegate functions right here, calling functions of addition, subtraction, and multiplication. I'm going to let you do the division so I know you know how to do it. Okay? So there's three of them. And then you notice the delegate functions. It says the address of these addition ones. So I went down here, and all I did was uh, and I started with the code, the FNS code we used for the string example. And all I did was change the address function subtraction function multiplication, function addition. Then I went down and changed function addition, and I put in all the information needed to add two numbers together. And then a function subtraction, subtract two numbers together, function multiplication, multiply two numbers together. So that would end the delegates function example, and it handles it perfectly. Um, now, I'm going to show you when I'm finished, but then we also had to do it using the normal call example. 
So what I did was, I read in, uh, all I did was like put a little heading in there in the code so you can see where it splits up. Normal function call example, delegate example. So what I did was I read in two, read in two numbers, um, assigned them to A and B, okay? Then I called the function add, the add function, the subtract function, the multiply function. You gotta make sure that you change the name here. You can't have a function addition because it'll try to call that address function before below. So I did these separately, A, B, A, B, A, B, and then down here, private sub function add, okay, right here. Um, you have to put this by val A as integer. You got to call, you got to pass those values through the function. Then what it does is it'll automatically read A and B. You don't have to define them again. It'll bring in those values you gave for A and B. And then it'll add them and add them to C. And then print them out. Again, I left out division so you guys could do it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it. Da -da -da -da. Please enter a value for A. It's going to call the function addition. Let's do 2. Function for, uh, value for B is 3. You notice it gives you 5. I'm going to enter a value for A again, 5 and 4. And now subtraction, we get 1. Now it's going to multiply. 1 and 3. 1 and times 3 is 3. Okay, that was the delegate example. Now we're going to normal call example, normal function call. So uh, let's do 5 and 6. Okay, is there two A and Bs? Boom. It adds them together to get 11, subtracts them to get negative 1, and then multiplies to get 30. And as you can see, it's working. So I'm going to have you add the division to see if you can get it working. If you have any more questions, feel free to let me know. All right. Bye.